Hello, my name is John McDonald. I'm Technical Marketing Manager with Mentor Graphics. Today I'd like to go through a quick demonstration of our Vista Virtual Platform capabilities. What I'd like to start with is starting one of our Vista Virtual Platforms. This virtual platform is a model that represents an IMX6 physical board. So similar to the way you would debug a physical board, we have a virtual representation of this board on the machine that I'm running, a simulation of this board. It is booting up the operating system, so we're running Mentor Embedded Linux operating system. It's booting the operating system, allowing us to then interact with the operating system in the same ways we would interact with a physical board. One of the advantages of a virtual board is that we have complete control of the simulation. We have additional traceability options and analysis options in being able to interact with the system. So in this case, my system is booted. I can log into the system. I can interact with it just like I would interact with a physical board. I have a user application that I'll go ahead and start. Now this is starting up a, a, graphic, a graphics intensive user application and we're using a non-intrusive trace technology that allows us to capture instrumentation information to um, modify the functional flow and the execution of the program running on the platform. So typically you would debug your application using a probe or something like that. With the simulation model, we can connect to the virtual platform and debug the application running on the virtual platform as well as affect the operation of the virtual platform through the simulation model. So we can change the execution sequence without changing the software that we're running. So in this case, it's an instrument cluster demonstration. So we see the um, graphical representation. We have a model of the IPU, a model of the screen connected to the IMX6 board that is displaying the graphics. On this laptop, we're running at about 40% of real-time speed. And typically, a simulation model may be a little bit slower than um, the target board um, typically will be in the 10 to 50 percent of the actual performance of the real system, but that of course is dependent on the complexity of the real system. So we can see that the performance is good to view the operation. We can see that our application is working the way we expect it to. Now let's try some debugging of the application. So I can start a debug server on the virtual platform and we're starting this um, application under the debug server just like you would do it on a physical board. And now I can come to my debugger and I can connect to the debug server running on my virtual platform. So this is connecting to the virtual platform. I've connected and now I can start the um, debug session, which is starting the user application on my target. So much like a physical board you would connect through a JTAG port, we start a GDB server on the target. And there are two ways we can connect. We can connect to the bare metal um, and debug the execution of the instructions on the processor directly, or we can start a server under an OS, like in this case Linux, we are starting a GDB server and connecting through the Ethernet port of the virtual platform to the GDB server running on the target. So if we come back to my debugger here, we're actually stopped at our first breakpoint. And I have a breakpoint set on the initial screen, the initial function that is going to update and display this screen. 
So this is my display function, paint canvas. So when I continue through this, we can see that the screen is updating. So each time I step, the screen updates. And I can do all of the traditional debugging that I would do in uh, a physical board environment. I can see the variables and the values of any of those local variables. I can step into the code. I can step through functions and see the values, see register state, and all of the, um, the typical things that we would be interested in looking at in a in a debug session with a physical board. One of the things that we can also do is we have the ability to capture analysis information, as I mentioned earlier. And in this session, I've captured some analysis information from displaying a number of frames. So here we see a uh, function call graph that is showing us what functions we're executing over time throughout the simulation. And we're also showing some other information. This is the um, process latency information. So what processes were taking a long time to run? What functions were taking a long time to run? And we can see what functions were causing a lot of delay or consuming a lot of load in the system. So if we zoom in on some of these areas, we can start to see which functions are responsible for slow execution, what functions may be areas that could be optimized in the system or could use extra attention to ensure that they're using the platform in the most efficient way. We have detailed views like this function call graph. We also have summary information that shows you what functions are consuming most of the time as your application is running all of this information is captured without instrumenting the executable running on the platform. This information is captured through the simulation model, being able to track and record what functions are executing, when they begin, when they end, and recording that to a database without the user having to instrument their code. We have a number of different instrumentation capabilities. We can track function call, function return. We can track hardware information, such as throughput on buses, latency to memories. We can track um, cache information and display that in a way that makes it easy for the software engineer to understand how efficiently their software is executing on the platform. If you're interested in more information, please check us out on www.mentor.com/vista.